Hi everyone. Uh, so this time we'll be using StatCrunch to do confidence intervals, this time with two samples. There's actually only three examples that I have that I'm going to be doing for this uh, particular video. That's going to be two samples using a T, a T test, uh, proportion stats, and paired data. So here's the first one. Okay, so this one's going to be doing uh, a T uh, statistic or a T stat with two samples. Okay, and we know that <coughs> because it's talking about uh, the variances here. Okay, so T stats, stat, T stats, two sample with summary. Okay, and I'll go ahead and type in my summary here. And I'm doing a confidence interval of 95%. And here, like I mentioned earlier, the variances are equal, so I want to make sure that pool variances is checked. Okay, and then I'll click on compute. And there's my lower limit, and there's my upper limit. Alright, so the next one will be doing a confidence interval using proportions. So here are my proportion stats. One way you can tell is they uh, use percentages here. And the problem will also say proportions. Okay, so I want to go into stat, proportion stats, two sample with summary. So what's nice is they give us the uh, observations. So I'll type that in. And to find the number of successes, so what I'll need to do is I'll have to multiply my um, observations by the p hat. So let me do that. So that's my first success. Now let me calculate my second one. There we go. And I want to do a confidence interval of 95%. Make sure to select that and compute. <coughs> okay, and again, there's the lower limit and the upper limit. All right, and here's the last one. This one is using uh, paired data. Okay, one way you can tell is uh, you'll see this D bar here. Okay, or you'd have to read the problem and you'll notice that um, they talk about <clears throat> the test subjects being tested twice. Okay, so I'll paste over my data here. So because we're doing paired data, we're going to go to stat, t stats, paired. Okay, I'll select my data again. Column one is just the test subjects. So our first column with data is actually the second column here. And our second sample is the third column. And we're doing a confidence interval, so be sure to select that. And we want a 90% confidence interval. And compute. And again, we're looking for the lower limit and the upper limit. Okay, and really that's all there is. It's pretty similar to doing uh, confidence intervals with only one sample. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video.